Today I want to talk to you about the NRB Ultralight. Uh, and I currently have zippy handle inlays uh, because I am a little bitch and I find that when you have these holes, it can be rough on my hands. I, I just have weirdly sensitive skin, uh, possibly from hormones. Um, the inlays help make this uh, much smoother to hold. Unlike the Cygnus inlays, you can't just press it all the way in. If you do, it'll just it'll just fall into the channel. Um, but this is such a cool ballast song. And it's like 2.6 ounces, I think. Um, and it's so light and it's so small. Like these are theoretically the same weight, but because of how big this is and how thin this is, uh, this feels much heavier it's like heftier just from the size there's more heft to it because you're swinging more mass um despite it being the same weight um it's just this this is much bigger um and so this is just a fun small thing and i think with the zippy handle inserts it sounds pretty nutty too it has this really great sound um these handle inlays also work with the slight, uh, unlike the ultra light, the somewhat light, which I think is such a dumb name, but I love it. The slight, uh, it has a very similar handles, except that it is titanium and they are, it's like 3.9. So it's like not crazy heavy, but it's definitely not as light as 2.65. And it's not as light as like some of my knives. This is like 3.0, this is a titanium, but this is 3.1. Um, Zippy does not have blade inserts though, which, uh, would be cool. It would definitely make it heavier, but obviously with the handle inlays, it is more handle bias. I wouldn't say like a ton more, but with how little mass you're working with here, how light it is, it's already, um, any little change is a significant percentage up. So uh, if you just saw that, that like that fan was kind of suboptimal, it like still fans good. Um, and obviously you don't need the zippy inserts. I, I will shell for zippy. Zippy, sponsor me. I'll shell for you so fucking hard. Um, I spent like a hundred bucks on zippy inserts. Um, but uh, yeah, these are, this, this is just so light and fluid in it. And it feels like you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, it chaplains actually really well. Uh, you do have to be careful because if you crank it so hard, it's gonna, it will fly off your finger. I can't zero as G-Chap. I don't know why I tried to show that off. Um, you can ladder this pretty easily just because it's so light. There's no texture on the side, but there is some decent jimping. The jimping is actually, it's like not super deep, but it's nice. And the, the texture on the faces, it's, it's like this cross hatch pattern. Very good. For aluminum, no complaints, honestly. So, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Um, this is, of course, not a standard flipping experience. It is super light. But if you like a wide collection like me, if you are someone who has, sorry about that, if you're someone who has a very diverse collection of, of bow songs of various weights, like these are some of my lighter ones. And yet I also have the Demon, which is like five something ounces. And I have, nah, it's not in this room, but I have the, um, the Hybel uh, Valor, which is like 5.1 also, and my Kershaw Lucha, which is almost six ounces. Also, this is, um, I think five ounces. It's close to five ounces if it isn't. Um, and I have just a wide variety. So if you like variety, if you like lighter, agile Dao songs, um, this does anything you want. If you don't like light Dao songs, obviously you would avoid this, but uh, if you were curious, is this worth it? I would say yes. If you want a cool, diverse, robust collection, this is this is something that brings a lot of variety to your flipping experience. So if you want to try and play around with something light, different, um, ultralight is great. Thanks, NRB. Oh, I want to make it very clear. Um, Garrett had a sale. Garrett, I am not a real boy at a sale and I bought this on sale and this is blemished um now I wasn't sure what blemished meant Garrett I, I asked him and I said hey can I get these uh 
handle swap. And he says, normally I don't do that, but I will. And I said, holy shit, thank you. And so I asked for teal and red, and I guess I should have gone with black. I went with gray because it looked darker in the picture, but black, I wanted it to look like a Nintendo Switch. Um, the thing is, uh, he was very clear that the Anna would wear off on the teal. And I didn't know what that meant. I thought it meant that if, if you dropped it, you would, um, I thought if you dropped it, it would like scuff really easily. And I'm like, I, I don't really flip over hard surfaces too much. I, I'm like, if it scuffs, it scuffs. I have like a table, you know, I have shit here and there, but you know, I flip over couches and carpets in my bed. Um, but what it means is that this teal has lost its luster near instantly. This is my Kraken. As you can see, the teal on the Kraken is much brighter. Um, and the teal on the ultralight has faded much quicker. So that is something just to be aware. And it seems to only affect teal. Um, despite the luster having faded, which is too bad, uh, I still think it looks good. Um, I don't know if Krakens have red handles, but you can make a Nintendo Switch looking ass Kraken. Um, and if I wanted, if I got black insert to it, it would look that way. So uh, this comes, I believe, in four colors red, teal, purple, and lime green. Um, and I almost did purple and green again because I keep buying things in purple and green. And, you know, that's like my color combo. And yet, because it was such my com color combo, I just, I was like, I, I have too many. Battle songs in, in this color combo. I, I should start, I should go further out. <laughs> now I don't have nearly as many in that color combo again. Maybe I'll need to go back into it. So um, do be aware that um, teal does fade. And he was, he was also like, oh, maybe you should do teal on the bite handle instead of the safe handle. Uh, and I'm like, nah, I'll be fine because I'm pretty careful. Um, it, it like lost the shine like near instantly, like really quickly. Um, just be aware. So teal, mm, all teal is considered blemish, uh, to my knowledge. Um, but this is still absolutely worth it. Um, and it looks great if you like the green and the purple and the red all look really good. I don't even like red that much and this looks great. So that was something to be aware of. Um, and I hope you like this video, like comment, subscribe, and throw a couple bucks towards my coffee so that you can keep getting reviews and breakdowns like this um because a couple bucks goes a long way thank you so much for tuning in have a good one